Hello, hello, hello. Wow. <laughs> I got a message for you. You know, sometimes we have to accept the fact that it's okay not to always feel okay. Yeah. Sometimes we're just out of balance, out of source, just can't figure out why we have this anxiety or fear, why we can't sleep, why we can't think, why we've lost our joy. We have to realize we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And in the human experience today, Oh, we are surrounded with so much information. We are bombarded with choices. We are bombarded uh, with the news, uh, the gas prices, the food shortages, the, the corruption, the pandemic, the vaccinations, the, the wars. Uh, so much is going on and it's getting in our ear gate and our eye gate and it's disturbing our soul and our spirit and people are questioning like what is wrong with me why do I feel this way what's going on or even in your own personal life you're experiencing pain financially pain in your body pain in your relationships pain from loss pain just financially just trying to figure things out and I, I want somebody to know today that it's okay not to always feel okay. I've had my moments when it's like, I'm just, I don't want to play. I'm picking up my marbles. I don't want to play. I don't want to talk. I don't want to be around anybody. I feel like I need to shut down. And what I come to realize is that we quickly call it feeling depressed. But I love what uh, a guy named Jeff Foster said. He said, this, listen to the word depressed. It sounds like deep rest. We need deep rest. And I've allowed myself to do some deep sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Resting, resting, resting. It's so important that we learn how to give that gift to ourselves. Because we're so quick to, quick to say, I'm depressed. But what's really happening is when we want to escape our reality, we don't know how to deal with our reality. Our reality frustrates us. People disappoint us. Think our plans don't come into fruition. What we do is we suppress our feelings of anger, sadness, grief, anger, frustration. We suppress it because we got to wear our mask to church and wear our mask to the job and wear our mask in public and wear our mask to family gatherings. And, oh, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm blessed. And yet we are suppressing our expressions. When we get, begin to express how we really feel and we tell the truth to ourselves, and we don't beat ourselves up, but we recognize that sometimes we feel trapped. Sometimes we feel exhausted. Sometimes we don't like the reality that we're facing, whether we created it or whether it just, it's a circumstance that we could not control. Um, it could become very overwhelming and we gotta get out of balance. We get out of sorts and we just don't feel good about ourselves. And so I just wanna share with you some thoughts about dealing with depression and recognizing the signs and recognizing um, that you do have some power, you do have control over how you react. You may not be able to control what's happening or how people are acting, but you can decide how am I going to react and how am I going to label my feelings? What I'm talking about is emotional wellness because we have all types of emotions, happiness, joy, sadness, jealousy, uh, fear, frustration, uh, feeling like we don't have enough or we're not good enough or we don't look good enough or we don't have enough. And a lot of that stems from the times that we're living in. All of this social media, you and I are exposed to so much that you can begin to say to yourself, am I missing something? Did I do something wrong? Is there something, what's wrong with me? Why don't I have that family? Why don't I have that car, that home, that travel, that body? And so we begin to beat ourselves up and question ourselves, which can lead to suppressing how we feel because we're acting like we're good. And then because we suppress what we need to express, we become depressed. And what we need is some deep rest. We need to reflect. We need to sit back and, and look at our lives and live with gratitude and, and live with self-honesty. And there's some things that I've learned to do um, I notice that when I have those moments when I'm feeling out of balance and out of sorts, I know how important wearing colors are. Colors are energy. Colors bring a vibration. Colors lift your spirit. I realize sometimes I forget to take my magnesium. Magnesium is so important for stress. I realize how important it is to drink the water, to get outside. 
you know, to hear the birds singing, to touch the leaves, to feel the sun on my face, to kiss my face. I look out at the mountains and the clouds and it's like, Lord, how many days have I gone by without just acknowledging your beauty, without acknowledging your handiwork? God, I'm so sorry that I just keep moving so fast and I'm comparing myself to other people on social media and I'm focusing on what's not going right. Lord, let me express how I really, really feel without beating myself up so that I don't find myself suppressing my expressions, which leads to depression. Lord, let me get back to listen to my music. I listen to Afro beats. I listen to island music. I listen to jazz. I listen to meditation music. Music for me is so healing and brings such a great energy into my home and into my body and my soul. So, you know, listening to music, drinking the water, taking your magnesium, uh, doing your body tapping. Some of you have heard me talk about the importance of body tapping. It's important that we move our bodies and get up off that seat, out of that car, out from under that television and move our bodies, move our limbs. It's so important that, you know, how about, you know, the peppermint? Many of you have been with me and I give you the peppermint. <laughs> At my retreats and my events, get your peppermint out. Get, 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 get it out. <laughs> Drink some water. Get moving. Lift your hands and praise God. Live with some gratitude. Turn off the tell lie vision. It's so full of lies. It's so full of lies. It's so full of fear. It's getting in your ear gate, your eye gate, and filling you up with a lot of anxiety. And I know somebody's saying, well, I need to know what's going on. Well, do you need to watch it every day, all day long? Do you know what it's doing to you? Whatever you consume begins to consume you. It's just like food. It's feeding your spirit, filling you up with anxiety and fear and mistrust. So it's important that we guard our heart guard our eyes, guard our ears, guard our spirit, especially those of you that are empaths like me. Yeah, you've got to really guard your energy. Uh, as a life counselor and a life coach and a leader, I hear stories, I get emails, I get text messages. I'm constantly uh, aware of what other people are going through and I have to guard myself because if I don't, I could become very overwhelmed and sad. And so I have to recognize that being sad is a real emotion. It's okay. Grief is, it's okay. It's just that when it stays too long, we have to be very, very careful. We have to make sure that whatever suffering we've gone through in life, I love what uh, author Elizabeth Gilbert says. She says, don't waste your suffering because guess what? We're going to all suffer. We've all been through something or going through something right now. It's inevitable you're going to suffer. It's inevitable that all of your plans are not going to work out. It's inevitable people are going to disappoint you. It's going to be inevitable. Things are not going to always go your way. But how do we deal with it? How do we get through the suffering? You know, I look at the word through uh, right there and, and the word through is rough. It's rough. It can get rough financially. It can get rough in your relationships. It, you could feel rough uh, uh, in your body with a bad diagnosis. You, it can get rough on the job. It can get rough uh, during the pandemic. It can get rough, you know, raising your children. It can get rough dealing with blended families. It can get rough <laughs> when love walks out the door. But you don't let the suffering go to waste. What do we mean by that? When I suffer, when I have my grief, I say, Lord, what can I learn from this? Lord, what can I learn? Lord, I need to learn from this. What lesson can I learn? help me to gain some wisdom from this that I could share with others or will help me to, to transcend the suffering and not allow myself to become a victim. Because when you cannot get any meaning from your suffering, you will feel like a victim. You will be so full of emotions of anger and sadness and victimization. And you know, anger is just one letter short of danger. Yeah, it's very dangerous. <laughs> to allow anger to take root in you and to uh, uh, nurse it and rehearse it and to curse it, to constantly ruminate on anger, who let you down or how you let yourself down. Talking about the past, that suffering that's not giving you any meaning, what did you learn from it? <laughs> how could you avoid it in the future? How could you help somebody else that you love? It has a purpose if you give it a purpose. Don't let your suffering be in vain. Learn how to navigate through the challenges and the shifts and the seasons of life. 
yeah there are going to be things we can't control they're going to be things that just piss us off they're going to be things that confuse us and confound us and bewilder us like how in the world how is this happening why is this happening and if you can't express it and talk about it see i'm a talk therapy practitioner and it is through talking about it being real with yourself expressing yourself expressing your creativity expressing yourself through music through dance through art uh gardening uh cooking we have to use our creativity we have to express ourselves because it's very dangerous when you and i are suffering and we're going through a season and we shut down we shut down our creativity we shut down we're not talking we shut down we're not going outside we shut down and we're not eating properly and we're filling ourselves up with junk food and junk thoughts Please be careful. Please be aware of how powerful you are. Yes, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. And yes, you must pray. And yes, you must meditate. And yes, you must seek God's guidance. But in the natural, what can you do? Get outside. Put on some colors. Bring colors into your life. In my home, I love plants. I love taking care of my plants. For some of you, maybe your pets. For some of you, it may be decorating. For some of you, it may be cooking or, uh, you know, music or dance. But do something. Express yourself. Find a way to express yourself. Because when you're not living with full expression of who you are, you will begin to suppress. And suppression leads to depression. When you suppress your anger, when you push it down, you're angry. Say it, I'm angry. When you're disappointed, you're disappointed. When you're sad, you're sad. When you're happy, you're happy. But you don't have to stay there. Allow it to pass through. Allow it to pass through. I can't tell you how many times I have to allow the grief to pass through. I don't like it when it comes, but I allow it to pass through because I don't want to get stuck there. And I get up and I get outside and I put on my music and I drink my water and I take my magnesium and I use my peppermint oil and I, I just do things. I, I love on other people. I love helping other people. I love giving to other people. I get outside of myself and help other people. That's one way that I deal with feeling depressed as I begin to express my humanity express my compassion express my gratitude lord i thank you i thank you lord <laughs> thank you lord for every blessing because the the gratitude will um it's the antidote for comparing yourself to other people and feeling like you're not enough you're not good enough you're not smart enough you don't have enough that comparison trap is so dangerous dangerous and it came with social media and sometimes we have to take a break from social media take a break from the television and be around people that are going to bring life and joy and laughter. Get outside, travel. And if you say, well, Jewel, it's not in my budget to travel, then get in your car or get on a bus or, or, or <laughs> take a train, but just change your environment, change your scenery. You need deep rest from the things you're dealing with every single day. That job, the family demands, your bills, the news, you need to rest from it or you're gonna be depressed from it. I am Jewel Diamond Taylor, also known as the Self-Esteem Doctor, and I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for letting me rant today. <laughs> I hope that some of these tips will be a blessing to your life. God bless you, and stay in the light.